Hi, you're watching Holistic Developer Channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I want to share with you how did I get an interview with Microsoft? I actually went through the entire interviewing process, interviewing loop with Microsoft, and this is the video where I'll share with you my experience. I thought that if I do everything in one sitting and one recording, it will be way too long. So I decided to <laughs> split it into two sections. The very first video, the, this video will be where I'll share with you how did I get an interview with Microsoft? And the next section will be how actually the interview processes went. So without further ado, let's focus on today's topic. <laughs> If you are not new to this channel, if you have been following me for a while, you know that a few months ago I did a social experiment where I applied to 100 software engineering jobs. It was during my job seeking marathon where I applied to many companies. During that time, I applied to about three or four positions with Microsoft and many other companies. And none of these positions that I applied directly to uh, via LinkedIn jobs, uh, I applied for different Microsoft roles. None of them resulted in actually getting an interview with them. That was kind of disappointing because I did had interviews with Microsoft previously a few years back. No, it was not a few years back. It was at the beginning of the year and last year as well. So um, that being said, I was like, okay, I'm either not qualifying for the roles that I'm applying or something is up. Um, the resume is not a good fit for the roles or something like that. So I decided to kind of be more strategic about applying to Microsoft and reach out to one of my contacts that currently works at Microsoft. So I reached out from a few contacts that I have. I actually have a few contacts, but the person that I reached out first it was a person that I volunteered with a few years back. We both volunteered with Chick Tech. I was the conference manager uh, for ACTW conference in 2016, and she was the director of the conference. I was helping in for that conference. So I reached out to her and I said, um, I we were keeping in touch. That's one thing that I wanted to say, but I reached out to her and I told her that um, I left my, my job. I spent a few months leveling up as a software engineer. I was studying web development and now I'm ready for my next career move and I'm interested in finding a job at Microsoft. And I asked her if she can recommend me for any roles. Um, she was happy to do so. And um, one thing that I wanted to state is that she's not in a technical role. She is you know, a lead of events. Uh, so she's managing events, Microsoft managing, Microsoft managing events like different conferences and so on. So she was happy to help me. And she told me to actually send her a few jobs that I'm interested in applying and she will take it from there. So that's what I did. I went um, and looked at actually Microsoft career center and I looked at the what jobs were there and I picked the ones that were recently added like a week or so on or so I didn't want to look at ones that are really already going on for a while and I found four that I was interested in so I sent her the job title and the job code and from there she actually wrote to the hiring uh, managers or recruiters for those roles. And here's the example of what actually she wrote. Um, the title is perfect candidate for software engineering full stack and the number. And she says, hi, Mark, I want to reach out to you specifically about this role, software engineer full stack. In the past, I worked with an incredible candidate, Anna Sentiva, who has experience as a software engineer and has successfully executed various projects. Additionally, we both volunteered for Chick Tech, which is a nonprofit organization that is committed towards diversifying the tech industry through adult mentorship and high school student cohorts. She was an enormous asset to the volunteer team and single handedly managed the high school program for the Chick Tech Seattle chapter, as well as contributed to the, their regional conferences and events. I'll be remiss if I did not pass her name along to be considered, and I'm happy to make any formal introduction for any informational interview. Thank you for your time and good luck with your search. And when I saw this email going to <laughs> the 
four potential jobs that I wanted to apply for. I was amazed by the, the way that she described me. I was really pleased by this recommendation. So I was really, really happy. And that resulted in the manager actually replying. And did he reply? Uh, when was he? I don't remember. I, th I think the manager, the hiring manager for one of the positions actually replied, and that was within one day or two. And what he said, uh, he said that if um, I didn't apply yet, um, he commanded me to go to apply via Microsoft um, their portal, career portal, apply there, and um, then he will be notified that I, I applied. That's what I did. I applied. I let Jenny know that I already did that. And... Um, I got an email from him requesting to set up a meeting with him. So that's what I did. He sent me a Calendly link uh, for the time when he's available so we can meet and chat about half an hour. That's what I did. I set up the next available time. We, we got together, we chatted. The talk was really interesting. Uh, it was about 40 minutes that we chatted. It was a really interesting uh, conversation. He asked me about my background, my experience, my skills, what do I know, what I'm interested, what do I want to do next. So it seemed that it's a good fit. He actually told me that you look like a, like a will be a great fit for this position. Let's move forward and uh, schedule the on-site interview. And um, we started to chat about what should I focus on. The role is a full stack software engineer, right? Uh, however, he told me that it's more involved on the back end. It's more uh, the, the, the job, the responsibilities that will be performed by this person that they're looking for, it will be like 80% will be back end and probably 20% will be front end. So uh, because they have a separate back, uh, front end person, a separate back end, and they kind of wanted the person who will be intermediate once in a while when it's needed to, to, to kind of wear different hats in that case and do a front end as well. And he told me that I should probably focus more on system design to prep to prepare for my coding interview will be a system design uh, session for sure. Uh, it will be a coding questions um, interview as well and behavioral. And he said potentially there will be a fourth interview. Um, maybe it will happen or not, but it will be the front end. So uh, he told me that it will be four interviews, three, four interviews, right? Uh, the front end being optional in that case. So um, I took his advice and I prepared on the system design and on the uh, algorithms, coding algorithms. During the time for preparing for this interview, I spent quite some time on um, educative.io. That was the, the things that uh, worked the best for me. I did the system design there, grokking system design uh, in a course with Educative. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description below. I also did Algo Expert, the system design Algo Expert. However, for me, Educative platform, the grokking system design was that worked better for my scenario. I really liked how that platform was uh, set up, the course, how it is. And the same is true for the preparing for interviews. I mentioned this in my previous videos that I really, really like the course that is there. I don't remember the, the, the actual name, but it's called something like um, coding, uh, coding question patterns application or something like that. It's basically algorithms that you can apply into your coding um, challenges. And there are 16, challenge, 16 patterns that you can apply to any coding, uh, any coding um, target task that you have. Um, so I really like that course and I used it and I used it to apply to prepare for other interviews as well. So that being said, I spent time on that and also I spent some time on, on uh, the behavioral questions, kind of knowing, having templates and what to, and to answer to the most known questions in the behavioral interviews. That being said, uh, that was my preparation. That was the kind of the initial stage in my interviewing and getting an interview with Microsoft. Um, it was probably not the easy traditional way of actually up cold applying or applying on the site. Um, I did that, it didn't result in anything. So uh, as a result, I reached out to one of, I reached out to one of my contacts who works at Microsoft, not in an engineering role, but anyways, um, 
the way that she recommended me, um, the help she provided, it meant, meant a lot. And that resulted in me getting a, an interview and um, actually moving on to the on-site interview. So hopefully this, my experience of how did I get an <laughs> uh, opportunity to, to interview with Microsoft, my experience and the way that I did it provides some clarity and perspective for you. And hopefully you have that person who can recommend you uh, for a potential future job. If you're interested to see actually how the on-site interview with Microsoft went, uh, make sure that you're staying tuned. You have subscribed and your notification bell is on, so you will be notified when that video will be posted. Thank you for staying until the end. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video interesting and informative and you know people that might enjoy it, make sure to share that with them. That definitely will be um, appreciated. And, and make sure to like it because YouTube like that, the algorithms expects the likes and that way it shares to other uh, people who are interested in this topic in software engineering, interviewing, technical interviews, Microsoft, and so on. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.